Pleasure, what are you doing here? I'm here for the violence. Welcome back to The Last of Us Part 2, playthrough part 16. Thank you for joining me. Glad to be here. Glad you're all here. I've had a great time with this game. I've had a great time with the commentary in the comment section uh, about Abby and um, Lev and Isaac. It's been thoughtful, <laughs> which I always enjoy. Um, even if I come across like the bad guy, I don't mind. It's one of my favorite things. Lev in particular was a, um, a lightning rod, we'll call it, like in real life. Um, I can tell that you all are very good people. I can tell. Because I've never seen so many people agree with me while doing their best to not agree. <laughs> I don't know if you can call Lev dumb. Uh, you gotta remember... Um, she's 13, he's 13, um, his mom, uh, he loves his mom, uh, you know, uh, it's a tense situation, uh, identity, uh, yeah, okay, none of this is going against what I said, you're explaining something different, you're explaining the, cir the, the, the circumstances of his... I don't want to say idiocy, because that's strong. Uh, but it's certainly not naivete, because naivete is close to ignorance. It's like not knowing. Lev has shown that he knows exactly. He understands exactly. He gets every single thing that's going to happen once he makes a certain decision. He gets his mom as a zealot, and if he didn't, his sister told him, uh, but he gets it already. He gets what Shaving said is going to mean. He gets uh, how big of a deal it is. He gets that his mom's going to be blamed. He gets all these things. So it's not ignorance. Ignorance is not knowing. It's not naivete. He gets it. He just had to make a decision. He had to make. I'm not even knocking the decision. I get it. Same decision I would make. My mom was a nut. Hmm. Mm, that's a tough one. Being forced to marry some old creep. I don't know if I'll call the guy creep. Uh, some old guy. Uh, some adult willing to marry a 13 year old girl. In his mind. Um, hmm. I'd probably make the same decision. I too, if not shave my head, I'd certainly run away. Um, hmm. So that's not where the, um, my issue with that comes in. Because like, I'm with him up until that point. Okay, there we go. My issue is, once you know the consequences and you made that decision, you have now made that decision. Like, you know all that comes after that. It's time to cut loose. It's time to sit down and pray to whoever for mom's safety. Because that's it. You can't be hemming and hawing. You can't be, oh, I guess you can. In the privacy of your own home. You certainly cannot go back. Because if you go back for your mother, which I understand. I love my mom too. We all love our moms. 98.7% of us love our moms. Once you go back, you are putting yourself in tremendous danger. You're not going to convince her. And if you did, the, the idea of making it away a second time is impossible. Well, it's already in danger. Yeah, well, I don't know what to tell you. Should have shaved your head. It's a rough situation. And I don't think they should have changed it. I like Lev as... I don't want to say dumb, because you guys can get mad at me. And I am very sensitive. Um, I like the character of making the decision, especially in this world, where that's the case quite a bit, making the decision that they just can't deal with in and of itself. It has consequences beyond them. I like that as a thing. I don't want to make... You make Lev ignorant, it's certainly cleaner. Like, he shaves his head and didn't, didn't know it would lead to all this. That's cleaner. 
as far as the character beat goes, but um, I think it's less interesting. Um, Jesus, this is supposed to be at the end. I have a whole dissertation on love. Sorry. Um... Right. Uh, Yara's dead. Isaac's dead. I'm very sad about Isaac. Though we had no choice. He had to go. Um, I saw somebody call this uh, woke garbage. It's not woke garbage, sir. It's woke trash. And I don't believe that. I'm just saying. Uh, I, don't, I couldn't tell if being sarcastic or not. If it bothers you, I guess I get it. I have a weird relationship with... Um, progressive media because on one hand I can understand why you'd be bothered by it being so prominent but on the other hand I really dislike tokenism um, where it was like oh by the way that guy in the background over there yeah they're trans and that's the last time I mention it and deal with it and anything it so I, that's, that feels gross to me it feels like corporate fucking checking boxes I much prefer this version where it's a integral part of the story but it's gonna turn some people off and that's just something to deal with I appreciate Naughty Dog question mark um decision to do it this way maybe it's Neil Druckmann's alone uh I much prefer it this way it's supposed to be art right so everybody's not gonna like it speaking of which uh Patrice O'Neill has my greatest quote about comedy and I think it applies to art, too. At least it's my philosophy. He goes, he goes, as far as comedy goes, everybody shouldn't be laughing. Half the people should be cracking up, and half the people should be horrified. I agree. That's how I feel about art. Half the people should love it, half the people should be sick to the stomachs. It's the only way you know you actually did something. That's enough talking. Let's get to it. Percentage is a little bit off. Maybe it should be 70 30, but uh, you get the point. Right. Ah, <laughs> uh, right. Right, right, right. I forgot what we're coming back to. Get out of the rain. Yeah. Cool. Is that... 
Stay behind me. The threat has been neutralized, ma'am. There's no need to worry. Let's go. Don't kill Ellie. Tommy's dead. I'm too nuts. Oh. Oh, we're doing this right now. What do we do when we find him? Just figure out how to get in first. Oh. God damn it. Alright, we lost our pack. Still with me, love? Yes. This was like a bad idea for a kid, Abby. That's wild. <clears throat> Keep looking. All right, so we probably have to do some shooting. Uh, even though uh, I don't see any um. Grab that ladder. Ready? Jesus, that's fucking impressive. Nothing good. These are Leo's. I've got much work Ellie put in. Ellie and company. No disrespect to Jesse and Dina. Careful. Stay close. Really? 
you see this, you son of a bitch. She's gonna love it. Hands up. Back away from your shit. I said back up! I didn't know what we're doing this right now. Don't fucking turn around. Love, keep your bow on him. Get on the ground. You gonna kill me like a coward? You fucking people. Oh shit. Stand up! Hands in the air, I shoot this one too. Don't you do it, Ellie. Get out of here. Stand up! Now! Don't you fucking dare! Shut the fuck up! Alright, stop! Stop! Toss your weapon. Toss your weapon! Fuck. No, no. I know why you killed Joel. He did what he did to save me. This rings. There's no cure because of me. I am the one that you want. Just let him go. Told my friends. We let you both live. And you wasted it. Wait. Get off of us! Oh, shit. Come on. Oh my god, I gotta hunt Ellie. You're wild. Stay here. Watch the ice. Don't let her leave. Abby's a fucking animal. She really has this kid hunting down another kid. Not hunting, but like watching you. It's, it. it's the same difference. You're gonna expect her to do something, ain't you? Dumbass. Come on, man. Fuck. No, you're in here. <laughs> This is so cool. <laughs> I can't lie. This is a great <laughs> idea for a boss battle. Fucker! Oh shit. You're <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how gravity that was. Uh, don't attack Helly head on. Thank you, stupid. Oh, that's her. I can see her light. I'm pretty sure.
Alright, now I have no clue what I'm doing. I thought I did. I did not. Is that not almost exactly what the fuck just happened? So fast. Yo, she is this shit is wild. She's like a stalker. Literally. It's so scary. <laughs> it's just scary. <laughs> Kids with Dean, I don't, but appreciate it. All right, well, I guess it's us then. God damn it. Don't ever let me see you again. Really? Come on. Holy shit. <laughs> what the fuck? Yo, this is wild. That's so fucked up. Hey, buddy. What's wrong? Jesus. Baby's got a gigantic head. Got you. Yeah. It's okay. Sorry. We're good. Okay, click her, baby. Like these guys, huh? <laughs> they got some crazy hair. Uh, Who's that handsome fella, huh? Oh, baby's adorable. Even with his um Modoc head. Oh, 
Gina. I'm in the kitchen. Oh, what's up, you little goobers? Hey, thanks for doing the dishes. You can thank me by putting on some music. Yeah, I'll see what I can do. All right, nice and the music's probably not fucking outside. Got some tunes. Boogie, huh? All right. <laughs> oh, fuck ya. Yeah. I love this song. Your mom is very easy to please. I'm with you. My bar is very low. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, look at those moves. These moves? Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, look at Mama go. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Ooh. Oh, cool. <laughs> Jesus. a little bit of rhythm in the bunch. God damn. You're weird. I'm aware. Okay. Okay, <laughs> you're distracting me. No. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. Go. Okay. <laughs> oh, hey, I think I left Ollie outside. You mind bringing him back in? Yeah, sure thing. The dog, I presume. Okay, we can't get out this way. Speed Where is up. he? Pretty sure he's on the tractor. You want some fresh air? Now it's official. If so, it's adorable. I'm gonna go hang up the laundry. Oh, my back. My neck and my back. We will. My dear Dina, thank you for your letter and photograph. JJ's gotten so big already. He's got Jesse's smile. If he's anything like his dad, well, good luck. I came to visit you. My back's been acting up again. But I'm on the mend. The doctor still thinks I need a few more weeks of rest. Since I can't, I'll be there. Appreciate the tender words in your letter. I will say what I hope is obvious. Jesse wouldn't blame you for what happened. Neither do any of us. I love you. You're part of our family. Be well. There will be a place for you, Ellie, and JJ back in Jackson. Should you ever change your mind? Robin. Okay. I don't remember Robin at all. Even a little bit. I was hoping to hear from Maria. Maybe if we put some work in. Say hi. 
goodbye to your Auntie Talia. Hi, Auntie Talia. Big ass house. Trying to see what the hell that was in the corner. Does he need his jacket? No, oh, he's fine. Damn. Oh, he wanted sheep. Joel did. He had a bunch of fucking sheep. More? You can tell me to stop. Should I stop? Okay, enough. Seriously. They're adorable. You want to pet him? Here. All right. Here you go. Oh, oh, oh. Gentle, gentle, gentle. Just like that. Here you go. Yeah. Hey. Hey. I'll take him. Can you get the sheep into the barn? Oh, I got him. I can do it. Yeah? Yeah. Won't you rest it up? <laughs> okay. Here. God damn it. I hope this is leading to something. This was always my least favorite parts in, there. in Red Dead Redemption. We're herding sheep. We're herding cows. Just like regular people. Oh, stay out that's not why I play the game. Still need the bath. We're here to rob shit. Shh. I'm like the herding master. Listen up, sheep. Your dinner awaits you in the barn, so come on. Snowy. Barn time. This way, Easy. motherfucker. Head on in. Hey. Let's go, goddammit. Go. Wow. Go. That's a lot of go. sheep. That sheep has some huge balls. How many do you think that is? I was not aware. Let's count. Oh, One. no, those are uh, teats. <laughs> Me? <laughs> Uh, go. Eugene. Hey, hey, inside, inside. Inside, my father. Todd. Move it or lose it. <sighs> hey, what do you say we eat some of them? Tasty snack. It's kind of fucked up, enough, buddy. Just a I mean, few more. I know. It's the purpose, but you can't be going close to sheep and then eating them. What's the quietest animal yeah, the... on a farm? A sheep. Ugh. When you're older, you're gonna have a deep appreciation for these jokes. Nice job, JJ. We did it. Okay, guys, we'll see you tomorrow. Hey! How'd you get out? Uh oh. Come on, little dude.
Good. Haven't had a, any excitement in a while. I feel fairly. It is, um, really difficult. It's nice you can go seek a therapist. Huh. I doubt Joel will give her any tips how to get over grief. It wasn't the most open on the game of Sarah. I think it was more, much, much more open at the end. Thank you. Who are you here with? Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Hey, where you been? Hunting. Took a little longer than I thought. Who's here? Uh, just come inside. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Ow. Well, that's quite a bit you got there. What the fuck? Me? There you are. Here, we take it. Come here, bud. Oh, yeah. Here. Oh, I got it. Oh, I mean, you did fucked up. Hey. Hey. <laughs> it's good to see you. Mm, you too. Mm. He's getting heavy. No, he's <laughs> just a big ball of muscle. Hmm? <laughs> Town's good? Maria good? Oh, she's fine. We, uh... We're taking some time apart. Hmm. Jesus. I'm sorry. Nah. We talked about it a lot, and, uh, yeah, it's what we both want, so. Right. <clears throat> okay. Oh. Come sit. Oh, my God. Does he want to go after sure. Abby? So, don't do this. So, I've been putting out feelers for months now. And this new guy heard my story. He told me about a woman that he traded with while he was moving through California. Described her as built like an ox, traveling with a kid with scars across his face. He said they're living along this coast in a beach sailboat right here. Don't do this. That's got to be her. It's definitely her. Don't do this. We're done with that, so. I'm sorry. <clears throat> well, <laughs> I can't go. Jeez. 
Jesus. All right. <laughs> Reckon it's easy. Forget about her. You sitting all comfy way out here? Hey. I'll make her pay. Tommy. That's what you said when we got back to Jackson. Tommy. <sighs> what a joke. Damn. Jeez. Can take him, please? Yeah. Yeah. I got you. I got you. Hey. What the fuck was that? Nothing. God damn it, Tommy. You know what we've been through. Oh, say. She made me a promise. I don't fucking care. I know you don't, know. That's your goddamn problem. I don't want Ellie to go after Abby. I mean... Were no lessons learned? You got enough revenge. Though I don't think she's past it. I don't think killing Abby's gonna help though. We're not gonna go after Abby. Again, got rid of the images pretty quickly, but my skin hurt the rest of the morning. I gave up trying to go back to sleep. Dina stayed up with me. When will this stop? I don't know how Dina talks so easily about Jesse. She tells JJ all about him. She thinks it'd be good for me to talk about Joel to get it out. She says that it makes the memories sound like food poisoning. I don't want to talk about it. It's just going to hurt. Yeah. And I think once I start, it wouldn't be able to stop. I took JJ on a ride today. He left home. I almost didn't think about Seattle all day. It was nice. Oh, you poor fucking lady. Jesse's parents came out today. It was nice at first. They could people, but then they started pushing for us to move back to Jackson. Couldn't handle it and left for the woods. I didn't come back until late at night. They didn't stay for me. I could tell she was mad, but she grabbed my hand and led me to bed. I feel so guilty. Happened again. I was hunting this war and I had cornered it in the old gas station. It was bleeding out, screaming. It sounded like him. Then I couldn't get the images out of my head. I left it there dying. My skin hurts. Jesus. Uh, sorry, not a fan of poetry. Sorry. Um, I do love the fact that she we have her corrections here. She's a rather thoughtful person. Fucking watch. Fucking Abby. That's great. I mean, as much as I'm Team Tommy, in general, especially when it comes to him versus fucking Dina, um, I agree with Dina's general philosophy on this. Don't do this. And Tommy was way too hard on Ellie, all things considering. One's going to, one has to imagine that's the reason for his uh, situation with Maria uh, deteriorating. Tommy's not letting this go. It's his brother. I don't think he should let her go. I think he should let her go. I don't think he should be able to let her go. Please don't do this.
I hate these things. Tell me about it. Your old man really laid into me today. What happened? Another big lecture about my patrols. Don't go here, don't go there. It's funny how involved he gets whenever you're scheduled to go out. Yeah. She's, uh, she's putting on quite the show. I give you guys two weeks until you're back together. Not gonna happen. She, uh, say something to you? <laughs> Make it one week. Ellie! Hey! What took you so long? Well, I'm here, aren't I? Dina? Jesse. <laughs> <laughs> hey, don't forget, we're heading out early, so get some rest. Yes, sir. Such a dick. Come on. Don't you start with me. Okay, I have a very serious question for you. How bad do I smell? Like a hot pile of garbage? Oh. Okay. Oh. <laughs> How about that? Gross. <laughs> Jesus said it was a fucking brick. Every guy in this room is staring at you right now. Maybe they're staring at you. They're not. Maybe they're jealous of you. I'm just a girl, not a threat. Family event. Yeah, I was wondering what he actually said. Sorry. Sorry. Yo, look at his face. He's like woke trash. Remember next time there's kids around. Yeah, like you're setting such a great example. Oh, just what this town needs. Another loudmouth dyke. Oh. The fuck did you just say? Hey, Ellie, hey. Ellie, don't. Get the hell out of here. Get your hands off me. Hey! Enough. Honey, let's go for a walk. What about them? You worry about yourself. Let's get you some fresh air. You are a kiddo. What is wrong with you? He had no right. And you do? I don't need your fucking help, Joel. Right. <laughs> hey. Hey. Man, it's been a while 
while since he slept this long, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, not her strong suit. Subtlety, that is. He's fine. Go back to bed. She's in her jacket. She's got Talk a bag. Okay. Ma'am, you know what time it is. I have to finish it. You don't owe Tommy anything. I don't sleep. I don't eat. I'm, I'm not like you, Dina. What? You think this is easy? For you and for him, I deal with it. I love you. Prove it. You should probably stay. I can't. God damn. So what? I'm just supposed to, to sit here and wait for you? For God knows how long? Just thinking you're fucking dead the entire time? I don't plan on dying. Yeah, well, neither did Jesse. Or Joel. Hey, stop. Hey. Hey. Come on. We've got a family. She doesn't get to be more important than that. No. What? I'm not going to do this again. Fair enough. That's up to you. Oh, shit. <laughs> Poor Dina. We're really doing this. Okay, Constance. Now we just need... Oh, I checked this street a week ago. I can't believe you traded a pistol for this. It's a lead. No way that guy saw fireflies over here. Stop. I feel good about this. Well, I don't. Come on. All right, I'm gonna stop there. I I don't quite know what I was expecting from this part of the game. I figured it couldn't be much more in between um, Haven getting fucked up and seeing uh, Ellie again. That scene with Abby, Jesse, and Tommy. We got that way faster than I thought. I don't know why. I was shocked by the speed with which it happened. Uh, I figured Tommy would die, but he didn't. He was just dead on the inside. And, um... <laughs> and, um... We got a whole fucking John Marston epilogue with Ellie and Dina seeing what life could be if only things were different. How do I feel about any of this? I don't know. I really don't. I wish I could help. I really don't. I really feel bad for Dina. As she begged Ellie. She did everything she could. She had all the moves. And nothing worked. You know, the five stages of grief. She was definitely in denial. Or at least pretending to be in denial. I will talk about it in the morning. It's denial. B bargaining? It's bargaining? No. Denial. Anger? Uh, sadness bargaining. You know the fucking list. I felt like we saw that with Dina. <laughs> uh, that was great. 
very well done. I feel horrid for Ellie not being able to move past it. Even a little bit. And so much so that we're going to go out. Like this to me, more so than uh, the first time we went out for Abby. Because that's Joel. It's fresh. You know what I mean? It came out of nowhere. Time to go murder some people. But Abby lets us go a second time. She actually didn't even kill Tommy. Um, and the only reason she came back is because we killed those people. Ah. Like, if she was to kill Abby, this is like... It's hard to say this is revenge. It's hard to say this is revenge. Even if it technically qualifies, it's hard. It feels closer to murder. An assassination, even. I, I can't co-sign it. I just I like Abby now. I just can't co-sign it. It's rough. Oh. I like the little home situation you have set up. I wonder how much of this is Ellie just feels guilt. Like maybe her and Joel were on better terms when he died. She wouldn't feel as bad about it. She still feel bad, but maybe not this bad. When you feel the need to go try to murder somebody else a second time after you killed Mel and Owen. It feels like a lot. I can't really co-sign it. I want to co-sign it so bad. I just can't. You know the time, you know the belly. I can't co-sign it. I just can't. Team Dean on this. Let it go. Here's another question. Here's another question. Much like we talked about Lev shaving his head. What happens when you can't let go? What happens when that's simply not an option? He can't sit here and be a wife to this fucking old creep. Even though you know there are circumstances for what you're doing. Just gotta do it. At least kind of in the same spot. She, she should let it go. All common sense says let it go. You've got a wife and a kid and a beautiful, like, home life. But if she's not sleeping and she can't eat and she can't fuck she's panic attacks and PTSD and all the other shit that she feels can only be alleviated by murdering Abby, is this not a um, her or you situation? Or <laughs> her and Dina and the kid and whatever or you situation? It kind of is, is it not? I don't know. I do find it interesting. That's a question. How many of you thought about giving up on the section because you thought it was over? Like, I don't give a fuck about this stupid home life. Can we just skip to the end, please? I, I wouldn't say I was there. I was like, this feels like an odd way to end. I get it. Looking, we're moving on. But, eh. Yeah, then we did not move on. I thought we were going to end with Tommy asking her saying no, and then we go to black. But, uh, nope. 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 Post your comments down below. Like, share, subscribe.